First to Commitment 2022, the North Carolina Green Party is suing the State Board of Elections to get on the ballot in November. Yeah, our Ford Hatchet joins us in the studio with the details. Ford. Hey, good evening, Louie and Christine. This is an escalation in what's been an ongoing battle between the party and the North Carolina Board of Elections. The Green Party is trying to become recognized as a new political party in the state, so its candidates will appear on the ballot this fall. To do that, they needed nearly 14,000 signatures on a petition by July 1st of this year. They got nearly 16,000 validated signatures, but the State Board of Elections, alleging fraud, denied the party's request to be on the ballot last month. And, uh, you know, we are seeking the courts to assist us in this so that we can be on the ballot in November, uh, you know, that rightful spot that we earned. And finding fraudulent activity raises, you know, suspicion. There is a cloud over this petition process. The Board of Elections investigators identified contractors from Michigan and Arkansas who were paid by the Green Party per signature they could collect. That itself is legal and the party says necessary. In order for them to be out there the 10, 20, 30 hours a week, it would require over a couple of months to get all these signatures. They had to be paid. They couldn't afford to be doing it otherwise. But elements of fraud sparked the Board of Elections to investigate all the signatures collected by certain outside contractors, a process which includes contacting some of the people who allegedly signed the petition. 28 stated that they did not sign. 15 were not sure or do not remember. Eight have stated that they did sign, and four stated that they thought they were signing something else. But the Green Party says its members have been bombarded with texts, calls, and emails from people trying to coerce voters into removing their names from the petition. That falls under uh, free speech, and it does not uh, violate anything within the petition checking process. While the State Board of Elections is painting us as having committed fraud when there's no evidence, part of this effort, a very partisan effort, to keep us off the ballot. There is nothing political about this that's being performed by state board staff. Um, this is us administering elections as prescribed by our law. And the Green Party will be holding a press conference at noon tomorrow to discuss the lawsuit at the State Board of Elections in Raleigh. And the deadline for ballot printing is just about a month away in mid-August, so the party's going to need some quick resolution if they're going to appear on this year's ballot. Live in the studio tonight, Fort Hatch at WXI 12 News.